All right, here is the second installment of this brand new line of Halo action figures produced under Wicked Cool Toys slash Jazzwares. We're gonna be taking a look at the 3.75 inch World of Halo scaled line of action figures, very first vehicle to come out of the warehouse, and that is the Deluxe Warthog that comes with Master Chief. But before we take a look at this, let's go ahead and roll it out of here for a moment. So we can take a good look at the packaging as per take of every single video review on this channel. Nor the glare, nor the glare. We got nice artwork of the Warthog rolling into battle against the Covenant forces. We got Master Chief, the one who's behind the wheel. And a Mark VII Spartan here, which is manning the, um, the machine gun, the turret. Yes, as I mentioned, it does come with a Master Chief figure. Right over here in this corner, Age of Saint Plus, on this side of the packaging, we've got Halo, Warthog, Master Chief, UNSC, right there. On this side of the packaging, we've got pretty much the same thing, except it says Halo Infinite, and we've got the UNSC logo. And to the back of the packaging, the huge disappointment of this line so far is that it's got a nice artwork of Master Chief, a picture taken from the game, I'm sure of it, where he's running into infinity and beyond. Unfortunately, that's not really what I want to see back here. I want to see some figures. I want to see what's available in this line. Maybe a summary of what's to come in Halo Infinite. Maybe like a tease of what to expect when the game pops out. It's like, th this has no appreciation whatsoever. I'm going to get rid of it now. Oh, and uh, on the top of the packaging, yeah, there's some information regarding the Warthog itself. Swiveling heavy chain gun turret, uh, it fits to up to three World of Halo scaled action figures, which is nice. And yes, it is part of the World of Halo scale series. Camera so you can see it all, and as you can also see, we've got Master Chief driving this thing onto the spotlight and reviewing station. And we'll get a good look at him up close in your face. I, of course, had to put that in there. I'll go ahead and tell you guys right away, while I do love this behemoth, unfortunately, the uh, figure that comes with this is no different from the one that I reviewed previously on this channel. It is the exact same figure. There's no difference whatsoever except for a little bit of some shots of silver maybe on his helmet. Of course, these are hand-painted, so of course, it's not going to be perfection. You're not going to have the exact same spot of silver paint on Master Chief from one figure to the next. Still has the uh, battle bruise right there, as I'll call it, right next to his uh, 117 logo. It's still there. This is something that was also in the package with the figure. He comes with his official assault rifle, which the previous Master Chief figure from the two-pack does not. So as you can see, we've got that Hydra launcher thing, and here we've got finally a UNSC assault rifle. It's got a little bit of some dark gray here for the front, and the barrel does have gunmetal gray, and then um, that's basically it. The rest is done in dark plastic. And this peg is not removable. This is actually incorporated into the mold here. It still really doesn't peg in that well. It's a bummer. I really thought maybe it would be a lot different. I mean, it does actually get a little more flush to his back once it's finally in there. There is still a little bit of a gap, but it's not as bad as that Hydra launcher from the previous video. I'll set it back there because I can't even find the peg on his back because he he's so far back on this thing that he's basically touching the railing here. Okay, let's get the obvious out of the way here, okay? This is the elephant in the room. This is one-in-one -on -one scale accurate to, uh, you know, Master Chief from the game. And if you guys didn't know, if you're not aware, I think I said this in the previous video review, but when it comes to uh, a Spartan compared to a UNSC uh, pilot, trooper, whatever, there is quite the height difference because Spartans are big, they're tall, they're bulky because of the armor. So obviously Master Chief is not going to fit in here that good. If you're complaining about this figure not being able to fit in here properly, you might want to go and look at it again because this is the truth here. Master Chief is a Spartan, all right? He's not gonna fit in here that comfortably, all right? So, now that we got that out of the way, let's move on, because we got a lot of details to show off on this brand new designed Warhog for the game. Looks good, 
My only real complaint, which isn't really a complaint, it's just I do miss the railings that went around the front of the Warthog itself. It really gave it that nice attitude vibe. And we do have headlights here that are painted up in silver. Unfortunately, we got the same problem with every other uh, winch system on a Warthog, whether that's Mega Constructs or McFarlane. It is not an actual moving thing. So you can't pull it out. You can't roll it back up. It's just sculpted to the vehicle. Nice hooks though. Anyway, it looks like that can uh, really puncture a Covenant if this thing was driving at full speed. That, that would be awesome. I'd love to see that. Anyway, uh, we do have this very thin antenna here in the back which you know it's pretty sturdy on my release other people have complained that this feels pretty flimsy and over time if not careful it could snap and you know there's still a possibility that could happen but as it is you know this isn't really going to be played around with we've got gas tanks here which are actually removable but um yeah this is not just a single piece of plastic here these three here are also separate gas tanks that can actually be removed as you can see, we got that little hole right there for that peg that's right there, and we can just, well, we could, if my butter fingers didn't let go here, we'll just uh, peg that back into place, and we're pretty much up and running now. So, let's take a look at the bottom of this. As you can see, we do have some lovely detail here, done in a solid gray plastic, but that's to be expected. Nobody's looking at the bottom of these things. It's really all about what's at the top, but... We do have some lovely details, as you can see. And it even looks like we've got a uh, shock suspension on the wheels. I'm here to confirm, though. That's not the case. There, there's no bounce here, okay? This is all solid plastic. The connectors for the wheels do not bounce up and down. It may look like it's doing it on camera, but to tell you guys the magic behind it all, this is not a sturdy base. This platform moves all the freaking time. So that's what you're seeing here. This isn't moving, this is moving. Plastic piece here, very clear. So you can actually see uh, some of the details on the inside here from the windshield, looks good. We got the UNSC logo on both sides and it is nicely printed on here. As you can kind of make out right there, it does say UNSC for something so small. Uh, the wheels are made out of rubber, which is nice. Not the hubcap section, that's plastic, but this is actually rubber. For this thing, will roll like a dream, and it does, as you can see. Beautiful. I love the way that turned out. Now, let's finally get to the main attraction on the Warthog here, which is none of the less, of course, obviously, the turret here for the minigun. And, um... It's really difficult to move this thing around. I know it said on the box at the top that this is actually rotatable. It doesn't really. It's just too tight of a grip. You can move it, but it does take a little force. I don't feel like it's gonna snap over time. Maybe it will loosen up over time, but as it is right now, that's a tight connection. It can be removed. Maybe you can put some shock oil underneath there just to give it a little bit of some you know, free grip, but other than that, it just, it's not gonna, it's not really gonna move. Speaking of not moving so well, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, turret on any Warthog from the video game has the option to shoot up or down to the left and the right, and you can get that left and right movement out of the turret once you rotate it, but the up and down, not so much, as you can see, this minigun doesn't really go down that far. Just enough to get a little bit of some angle, a little more action here, whether you're shooting high up or a little lower at the Banshees or the Ghosts, or actually the Ghosts don't actually fly in the air. I just remembered that. Uh, the bandolier here, as you can see, uh, all these chains, they're not a part of this thing. When you first uh, pull it out of the box, you have to actually apply this. And it's a little scary at first because this is pretty flimsy. It kind of actually blocks this gun from going any lower. And you can't really move it because it's like it's actually glued in there in place. So I don't know what that's all about, but there really isn't that much movement here. You just really get that, right? 
that's it. You do get some silver washing actually at the barrel of this thing, so there's something. No, actually, let me go ahead and correct myself. What you're seeing is just the lighting. That's it. Just the light above shining on this green plastic. Well, actually, there is. There's actually some there right around this area, and there's nothing at the barrel. So I was right about that, but there is actually some highlights of silver brushed onto this thing around this area. So at least it does have some little bit of paint application and that's about it i mean there's not much else to show off except for the inside of the warthog which unfortunately means i'm gonna have to remove master chief now so i'll take him out so you can see all the detail here do have a nice steering wheel which unfortunately does not rotate and it feels pretty flimsy too that feels like that could actually snap off very easily you might want to be careful there the screens are painted in blue even for the uh, front section here in the middle, we've got this uh, keyboard here that's actually a sticker. That's a sticker, people. I thought that was paint. No, that's a sticker. Uh, we do have our, um, our gear shifts and all that, which is nice. It's a little warped here, kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's actually just a little warped. That could easily be fixed with a blow dryer. And then, of course, we got a passenger side here where any UNSC is going to pretty much fit comfortably in here rather than Master Chief. As a matter of fact, I've never actually done this before. Let's see. No, see? He still doesn't fit in here as you would think. But the honest to God truth is that he's a big man. Just enough to roll into battle and shoot up or run over some Covenants, which is fine with me. Right, so that's about it for this set. I mean, there really isn't much else to really showcase here or to even talk about. And you already know about the articulation on Master Chief because it is the exact same figure. The only real thing that I can say about him is that the quality is just a little more... Uh, restricted on the guy just a little stiff especially at the ankles which is a good thing because that doesn't mean he has loose joints so I'm happy about that and they are clicking but I've also seen in some videos where this actually snaps off if you're not careful so don't mess around with it too much like I'm doing here but other than that again it's just the exact same figure and I'll show you I mean just look I mean there's really nothing to really talk about it's the exact same Design, the exact same paint applications, minus the brushing of the silver for some highlighting, and the exact same combat damage spot right around his chest armor. So again, no difference. We can also put him on this stand, which comes with the two pack, because he is part of the uh, World of Halo scaled line of figures. So there's a good thing. So whenever I display the Warthog, I can have Master Chief in the front. And I just got a guarantee here that he is not going to fall over. So there's something, right? Okay, so that's it. Uh, I don't know where the assault rifle went. It fell out of the Warthog and uh, mysteriously disappeared to the carpet. Probably to never be found again. I'm sure it will pop up, which is in three, two, one. There it is. I found it. Right, so we'll go ahead and put that in Master Chief's hand. And we'll call this a video because it has been a very long one. And I didn't mean for it to go so far. But um, he holds it pretty good. I'm sure he can hold it with two hands if I took the time to do it. But I'm not going to do it right now. I've said enough about this. I'll do a quick size comparison with the uh, Bruce Cheaton from the two-pack here so you can get an idea of how big he is compared to the Warhog. And yeah, this is pretty accurate. This is definitely one in one scale here for this line of figures. Straight from the video game franchise. I mean, it just looks good. I like this set. Uh, it's got a little bit of some nitpicking here in the terms of quality with uh, certain plastics being used on this. I really wish that the winch here would actually be usable but it's not and that that, that that could have been a very lovely play feature had they actually done that but something like the ecto-1 from the real ghostbusters line with their winch that was able to capture ghosts and roll back into the back of the ecto-1 that would that would have been something but oh well it is what it is I, i'm fine with it it's a very nice set um i just I just uh, don't know if it's actually worth the price point of uh, 30 bucks. I think is what I paid for it. I don't have the receipt on me, and it's been at least a couple of weeks now since I've owned this. So 
I'm sorry I can't give you the full details about that, but I will say um, if you can actually find it, maybe wait just a little bit before you make that decision to finally pick it up. Don't wait too long though because it will fly off the shelves. I mean, I picked it up right away because I'm just obsessed with Halo. Your results are going to be different pretty much. So that's it. Questions or comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you liked today's video review, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the towel. If you hate the glares that were in the back of this video, well, I can't help you with that. I'll just keep trying to improve some things around here. Anyway, until next time, guys, this is your unprofessional toy reviewer, Redis Power, signing off saying thank you very much for watching this, and I will see you whenever you see me.